Harrisburg had its problems, but I couldn't complain. It was one of the, it was probably the best four years ever. It put me in a great position for college and for future things. I would say it was very difficult, but I maintained it and I was humbled. I was very, I was motivated. Um, for everybody that's not a senior yet, work hard, do what you gotta do, don't give up, get good grades, and you pass everything. In light of the problems, how do you feel like the quality of education that you got here? I mean, it's good. It just depends on the kids if they want to learn or not. Teachers, they get paid, but I believe it's it's a lot of teachers that actually care and don't care about the money they're here for the kids. So I feel as though if the kid don't want to learn, then they're not going to get educated as they should. But if they want to learn, the teachers will teach. With him at SciTech University, he's received a very good education. Um, we've had no issues at all. Uh, my son is also autistic, and so they've done a great job in regards to making him successful today. He's an honor student with a 3.8. To get to the success, I think, is to reach out. There are a lot of opportunities out here in Harrisburg because of like its location in the center of Pennsylvania as the capital, and as well as a developing urban city. There's a lot of opportunities that students can uh, can get from like local companies and local universities, but you have to reach out for them yourself. They're not going to come and hand it to you on a plate. You have to go out and look for those opportunities. As long as as long as as long as it's, it's to better the kids, like I'm, I'm all for it. But if 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 you know if 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 if, if, if you're going to teach them, if you're going to teach them, teach them. You know what I mean? Like it takes a community to raise a child, and that's what I grew up on. You know, so if the state think they can do better than what we're doing now, um, we'll see. Yeah, what do you think? I'm still on the fence, honestly, about it. I need to, I guess, be a little bit more informed of it. Um, but ultimately, it is about our kids, so whatever will allow them to continue to get the best education they can get, I'm all for it. Would you uh, see the news about the possibility of a state takeover with that going uh, yeah, I think they should. You think they should? Why is that? Because I think the people that's on the board, the school board, is not doing their job. I think that it would depend on who in the state is managing it. Right now, I think that uh, SciTech campus is in a very good spot because of how small the school is. Everybody knows each other. Everybody knows each other personally, so they can uh, give them more individual attention for the, the students that need it. And I feel that if you move the um, bureaucracy up to the state level, it might get like more paperwork and people won't see each other face to face. Like the people at the top won't be dealing with the students themselves. For example, like Dr. Sybil Knight Bernie, she comes to our school often. She probably knows me by my face and knows a lot of the other students there. And I think that's a very nice uh, close connection to have. So I think that when you move it to the state level, you might be able to um, do more things, but you might also lose that connection. What's the difference between the people who do do it and the people that don't? It's very simple. Determination. It's not some method that you can read in the book. It's not anything that you can do that anyone can tell you. You just have to want it for yourself. They say it takes 21 days to create a habit and 90 to create a lifestyle. So if you create a lifestyle, a 90-day lifestyle of setting goals for yourself, You'll be amazed at where you end up, at the habits that you create, what you wake up in the morning saying to yourself. We hereby certify that these students of the Harrisburg High School class of 2019 have met all of the requirements for graduation as outlined by the school board and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. To our Harrisburg High School Educational Administrators, Dr. Achampong, Dr. Craig, Mrs. Hassan, by the power vested in me by the Harrisburg School Board of Directors and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby authorize you to present the diplomas to the members, to the outstanding members of the Harrisburg High School graduating class of 2019. Board members, please assist
safety in the area.